So what you like to do is the first meeting in training camp to the first meeting before the playoffs, you'd like to be consistent with your message. This is who we are. This is what we're trying to do. And this is the way we want to play. And that'll be a reminder today of what it looks like when our team is at its best. And that's the, the goal of trying to get there. Armando Velez, Locked On Network. What is the biggest thing that you're looking for in like the first like 10 minutes of a period as far as setting a tone for a series? Dude, not, not, not try to win the Stanley Cup in the first 10 minutes. I, I don't think that that's an issue here. I think you've got two kind of playoff veteran teams, certainly they are, that are going to get past that kind of youthful emotion of running all over, making plays you shouldn't make, trying to finish checks that are way out of the, the range of a finished checks. I, I think you're going to have two, I don't know if this is the right word because it may not look like it, but sophisticated teams in terms of th this isn't the first time they've played a playoff game. So. I don't know that either team is, looks completely. I, I expect we look fairly close to how we should look, and I expect Hamlet to as well. This isn't their first time. George Richards, F S H N. Nice. Yeah. Um, any lineup changes, or is it no, like we, what saw, we yesterday? saw yesterday? Will be our lineup today. Okay. And secondly, how different is this playoff? You, you guys have known for months that you're going to be in the no. playoffs, and, and kind of so is Tampa now. They've sure. they've been in for the last couple of weeks. Um, does that change how you look at things, or is it just you feel like your guys are ready to go? Yeah, every year is a brand new year, so you can you have to learn in the playoffs, right? You have to have your adversity, you have to have your failures, and you have to learn from them. You you, you win and you learn, and that's that's the only two options for you in the playoffs. So we will go through that sorry process again to kind of almost relearn, but reconnect to the truths of playoff hockey, you know, how intelligent you have to play, how hard you The hard part of not worrying about both teams are going to play really hard, that's going to be easy. Um, but it's a completely different year, a different vibe, a different feel, so we just embrace that. We're not trying to recreate last year. I mean, we were, we covered a lot of ice in the first 10 minutes of that first game. And if we need to, we can today, but I think a more sophisticated group, I, I've used that word twice, it's just, I, I don't, uh, there won't be the unknown buzz energy in our room, but there will be equally as much energy in our room. Uh, Colby Guy, Florida Hockey Now. Um, just wanted to ask, like, Tampa's power play has been one of the best the entire year, and you guys have had, like, you guys have done a good job stopping it, but what, what really do you have to key in on where you have a guy with 40 goals and 100 assists and another guy who has uh, 20 power play goals this year? I think the first book is volume, all right? You, can't, you cannot test that power play. Ours is pretty good too, so they'll have the same mindset, but you, you can't test that, constantly test that power play. It's just gonna score goals. And then whether if you took the top five power play teams, maybe the top 10 power play teams, it's all the same idea. You just can't get stuck in the middle. You're either going or you're not. So what you can't have is indecision uh, and nervousness in your kill. If it's time to go, you gotta go. And when it's not, you're gonna have to hold and block and, and, and stay out of that gray area. Then that would be true of all of our boys.